What's up H4 community? Today I'm gonna take you through a little hotel workout. So if you have a hotel gym, um, I know sometimes they're really small, can get crowded. So this will take minimal equipment. You can kind of stay in one area. We're gonna work all your movement patterns and let's do this. So our first superset, you're gonna go two exercises back and forth for three rounds. First one, you're gonna take a weight for your goblet hold for goblet squats. I know sometimes we don't have that much um, that heavy of weights to work with. So go as heavy as you can. If you need to, you can slow the tempo down. We're just gonna do a nice goblet squat, stand up tall at the top. Think one, two, three seconds down, squat. And then we're gonna go right into a renegade row. So renegade row, elevate yourself if you need. Remember, we're gonna go plank or push up position. My feet are a little bit wider than normal. As I row one, I'm pushing in with my opposite hand. Really think, engage your glutes, engage your core, so you're not twisting your hips as you pull. You wanna avoid any low back pain. Second superset, we're gonna deadlift and do a one arm floor press. So I'm gonna show you a little um, tip that I learned to get into your floor press position. Deadlifts, remember weight in each hand. Pinch your shoulder blades back. So I'm really, even though it's a lower body exercise, I'm still engaging my upper body. Trace your shins, your thighs with the weights. Remember, we're standing up tall. I'm pulling my hips through, not my belly button. Okay, you wanna keep your core engaged. Again, don't set yourself up for any low back pain. For floor press, you're gonna take one weight. To get into this position, I'm gonna lie my weight down, lay, lay it on its side, lay it on its side, lay it on its side. I lie, the chicken lays eggs. You know, okay, we're laying it on its side. Okay, to get into position, I'm gonna roll to my side, two hands grab my weight, and then I'm gonna bring it to my chest, two hands press it up, that will get you set, and then we'll do one arm at a time. So I'm keeping my core engaged, low back press into the floor, Nice and slow, pause at the bottom, and then press. One arm at a time. Last circuit of your two moves, our lunging pattern, we're gonna go lateral lunge. So I'm gonna alternate right and left, bring that weight to your opposite foot so that like that's lunging, I'm reaching, step, switch. Okay, so I'm really focusing on sitting. My hips back, drive through your heel, and then I'm gonna use a light weight. You could do no weight. Side plank position here, or drop your bottom knee. My hand reaches through and then rotates up. Really get that reach, not just moving your arms. One side and then make sure you do the other side to keep it even. So it's a quick workout, but you have all your movement patterns. Make sure you're choosing appropriate weight so you're challenging yourself. I know when we're traveling, we don't always wanna be in the gym for 45 minutes or an hour. So quick workout, get it done and get going.